feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of my aquaponic plants. It's especially this one right here, the umbrella grass, when the cypress family, so the grass family. So it uh, is one of the best water purifiers that you can uh, have in your system. Uh, if you get a shock in your system, high pH, high uh, uh, nitrate, nitrite, you know, too high, these plants will stabilize it pretty quick. You know, you might get a little bit of a burn on, on some of your the rest of your aquaponics, but uh, these water plants will stabilize it because that's what they do in the wild. Uh, they keep things stabilized, plus they produce oxygen for your plants. And what this video is about is uh, propagating this and getting more for your system. And I want to do an actual experiment where I just use umbrella grass in an aquaponic system to see if it'll uh, control uh, all the uh, ammonia and everything in, in the aquaponic system. All right, now, you can easily propagate these by root. Uh, just pull that out of there and just break it apart in, into the roots. Uh, this, this plant here, uh, about four months ago, was about this. This right here. Just two little things and it's really spread out but the easiest way that I've found them to propagate them is when they do this right here you see that with the they send they already have little babies on it and this looks like it's got like four or five babies and right down here I have uh, some water lettuce it's another water purifier but let me make sure there's none in here what I do with this is just kind of bend it down into the water and just kind of wedge it in you know with them grasses on pointing up at the top just like that these two out of the way see they're poking out and they'll be have roots on them in no time so like this one right here it just i poked it down there like four days ago and it has roots you can just easily take your scissors cut it off and look there you have a, a nice umbrella grass this is a older aquaponic system uh, I'm just stealing the rocks out of it now I want a, a few rocks at the bottom of the pots that I'm propagating this umbrella grass into Oop, oh, I guess I'm Kind of big, so I'd like to make them about a third of the way full of rocks. All right, I have uh, nine of them set up, and we're gonna go harvest the umbrella grass, bring them over here. But let me go ahead and show you how we do the one we already did. Just kind of, I'm trying to do my best with one handed, but just kind of set it in there and just kind of. Rocks, hold it down. A little dirty water. This is uh, the aquaponics on wheels. If you see my video on aquaponics on wheels, and I'll put a link up here for you, so you can go check it out. And uh, actually, this is what I'm doing the experiment on, just having umbrella grass in there to see if uh, it'll purify the water enough to handle, you know, uh, the tilapia that it would grow on the other side. All right, anyway, back to the umbrella grass. I'm going to go cut it and get the other nine set up for you. All right, I got all nine of them out. 
I'm going to add the rocks and let you see again. All right, now I'm going to make this a flooded uh, half barrel. And so this fitting of the T-siphon is no longer necessary. So we have to take this out. Try to do this all one hand. Man. All right, now we just want a flood tank. Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> and we set that up just like this. Now I've had it off. Uh -oh. I've had it off while because the noise level. Let me show you operating. Turn it on, and now this will fill up and flood this way. And if I was going to grow good duck weed in here, then it wouldn't wash out because all the water would come from the inside. All right, you can see how this overflow works. Water's coming from underneath, and the duck weed is just maintaining there. But uh, I'm not sure I'm going to try duck weed in here right now. So. working pretty good all right that's how you uh, multiply your your umbrella grass for water purification and I hope you enjoyed this video Ani Ove Ocho means I love you in Hebrew later guys live in the way you meant for me to live is what I strive to do every day as I live off the land Lead me at your pace for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery from all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. Something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare, I must get ready. I 